Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for forever. So I think it's literally been a little over a year since I filmed anything for YouTube. So I'm super excited to be back. Um, I'll probably film a completely other video of why I was gone for so long. But I just wanted to make a comeback with an awesome tutorial on how you can get a nice, fresh, easy, glowing face for the summer with not using um, any foundation. So I'm super excited for you to watch this um, and let me know how you like it. Let me know what else you want to see. I feel like I have a lot of things that I can film. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy to be back. Um, sorry, I keep messing with my hair. Anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with my super easy summer glow face routine. Um, I won't be doing any eyeshadow in this, um, just typically for your face, because sometimes I feel like when I'm on the go in the summer, I don't have time to put eyeshadow on or I just don't feel like it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I do is I always prime my face. Lately, I've been using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Got it in my BoxyCharm. It, um... It is nice and blurring. Here, I'll show you the color of it. It's kind of like, um, skin color. <laughs> and it comes out kind of chunky and weird. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, but I typically apply it right here, my nose, and then my forehead, and then whatever else. I just kind of like, you know, drag around my face. Um, but I like it. I do notice it does make a difference. I would say it's like more on the matte side but it's not I, I don't I personally don't think it's very matte but it's more on the matte side it's not drying um, so after I do that I just add like a liquid highlight so like a liquid glow this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector liquid in Prosecco pop um, I also got this in my BoxyCharm I'm telling you seriously the majority of my makeup I have is from BoxyCharm um, it's like 21 bucks a month and you get five four to five full-size products every month. Um, and I seriously very rarely buy makeup. Um, I usually just wait till my BoxyCharm comes. I like to put it on as a base first because I always have to go in with a, a like a, a powder highlight or a highlight after anyway. Like this is not enough and it won't cut it for me, but that's just me. Majority of this stuff I just use my fingers to apply. Um, if I was like going all out, like doing like foundation and stuff like that, I'd probably use a beauty blender, but once again, I just want to keep it super easy. Um, just before you do start doing your makeup, just wash your hands. Make sure that they're clean. I've been using the Joe uh, Museli. Musse, oh, I'm probably saying this totally wrong, and I shouldn't be saying it wrong, but I totally am. Um, it's through uh, Extreme Lashes. It's a skin renewing concealer. So I get, I do get lash extensions. My brother does them. Um, and this actually has like no oils or anything that's gonna like break down the glue from my lashes. It's really lightweight, super easy to use, super easy to blend. Um, and I usually just dab it a little bit and then I'm just gonna take my finger. Anyway, yeah, so I've been gone from YouTube for a little bit. Um, I was super busy. Work got in the way and then other things got in the way. No. That'll be in another video though, just to kind of update you on what's been going on and why I've strayed away from YouTube. Um, I have been on Instagram, but I really don't post that often. I've actually been posting a lot more often than I did. Um, I was just feeling like really, I don't know, not good looking. I don't know. I wasn't I just wasn't feeling myself for a while, so I wasn't taking any photos. I'm serious. I wouldn't take I didn't even want to take like a selfie. It's crazy. And typically, like, I always do. So, that sounds horrible. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of strayed away from it. Um, but, yeah. I just moved back from Chicago to Michigan. I lived in Chicago for two years. So, I'm still kind of getting used to the pace of things here. It's a lot different. It's a lot slower. But, it's okay. I don't mind it. Sales tax is a lot cheaper here. So, I'll probably get some more makeup. Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. Um, it's for normal to dry skin. They have like another one that you can get for like oily skin, I guess. Um, but yeah, 
This is in Classic Ivory. I never really know what shades can fit me when I buy stuff like this, but I've hit pan in it, and I actually really like it. It works really well. Um, I'm still on the hunt for another one, like another powder, whether it's high-end or drugstore. So if you have any recommendations of just like a really nice powder to wear, like when you don't want to wear like foundation or anything, let me know. I will definitely pick it up or check it out. Um, but it comes with one of these. I know, totally weird. Like, do people really use these anymore? It's just like a little velour sponge thingy. I don't know. But I like to actually use this just to like dot it under my eyes so that I don't wipe away any of the concealer. So I have another sponge. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a softer sponge. And I just kind of like to press the powder into my skin. Now it's not very full coverage, but that's what I want. I don't want something insanely full coverage. So I just kind of press it in my skin to leave a nice base so that when I go and brush over with powder in a bit, that it'll brush over a lot smoother and it's not going to get stuck. On the sticky parts of my face. If that sounds weird. Then I'm just going to take this brush. It is from Aesthetica. Um, this is a P12 brush. I got this in my Baxi Charm too. It's really soft, but I'll just like brush away the concealer underneath my eyes. I'll just grab a little bit of this on my brush and just kind of sweep it across my face, down to my neck, and across my forehead. So, super easy. Right now, I have like my base on. Super simple. You can still see my freckles. You can still see my face. That's what I want when I'm doing something that's super fresh and for summer as I want you to be able to see my skin and I want you to be able to see my face and I'm so happy with my skin and how it looks now than it did before that like I am just all into wearing very lightweight products. Now I've always been into wearing lightweight products like tinted moisturizers I absolutely love. I actually very rarely wear high coverage foundation. I used to a lot when my skin was bad but now I finally have strayed a little bit away from those. What I'm gonna do, and this is like something I kind of like added in lately as of late, is doing a little bit of contouring where I contour a little bit on my cheeks, jawline, and my nose. This is actually my favorite part because I don't know what it is about when I contour my nose, I feel like my makeup is just freaking on point. So I have the Pure Sculptor Palette. Also from my BoxyCharm, I'm telling you guys, if you don't have BoxyCharm and you've been interested in it and you do something else and you've been wanting to switch, I am serious. Check out BoxyCharm. I use this shade right here. This is from Crown. I don't know the name of the brush. BoxyCharm. So, okay. One thing to tell you about these is that they're extremely pigmented, so you really only need to dab your brush in just a tad, just like that. And then I actually tap off my brush too, and then I go in. And I just very lightly blend it in. Also, my setup is <laughs> real funny. I don't have a desk in here. I'm sitting on the floor, and you guys are sitting on a chair, and my mirror is actually sitting on a table thing behind it. Yeah. You know, you got to make it work with what you got. This is all I got. And I really wanted to get back into YouTube, and I can't have excuses anymore for not having things. So, you know what? Whatever. Now... To the nose contour. Did you see what I did there? I don't even know if I can do that again. Probably not. So I don't really actually contour at all here. I've tried and I just like, I don't know, it just it looks weird on me because the bridge of my nose is this, I don't know. I don't know. It just looks weird on me. But I do like to contour right here so it looks like I got like a little, a little butt nose. Okay, so I just use this e.l.f. brush. I don't even know what type of brush it is. It's just kind of like a shadow brush. I literally dip it in there just a tiny bit, tap off my brush, and then I kind of just pick where I want that line to be, and I brush it right over, just like that. See? It's great, right? That's all you have to do. So I just take like a fluffy brush, it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter what brush it is, and I just kind of circular brush over it just kind of blend that in and then you can leave it but this is like a little intense for me so i just actually take the whatever sponge i use for the um, powder and i just kind of press that into my skin just press it in a little bit even brush over it with the excess powder on here if you want 
and voila, we've got a nose. I, I do want to do some bronzing because let's be real, we can't leave without bronzing. It's summer and I feel a little too like pale and washed out right now. Like I am not, I am not ready to take on this day. I actually use a bronzer from Kevin Kwan. When I put it in my palette here, I actually covered the name of it, but it's the Celestial Bronzing Veil. If you don't like something super warm, then definitely opt for a cooler bronzer. Oh, and I'm also using my Moda Pro Pointed BMX 130 brush. And you can probably already guess where I got it. Oxycharm. So I'm just kind of brushing this over my cheeks kind of a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my nose. I just want to look very sun-kissed and fresh and I want to look natural still. And I don't want to go too overboard with my bronzer because I am going to put blush on top of it too. I am going to go in with two different blushes. I actually like to get one underneath that's a little bit deeper and then I like to top it with another one. Um, I'm using the Studio Makeup Blush in Luminous. Uh, it's a Luminous Loose Blush. And it says it gives a silky, lightweight blush that gives a pop of healthy radiance on the cheeks. My only thing I hate about this is I hate the packaging because I'm telling you when I open it, it's just like blush is freaking everywhere. And this is like extremely highly pigmented. So I'm literally only going to use what is on the cap from when I opened it and go in very lightly. Then I'm going to top it and kind of do a little bit more with the... Calif uh, California blush from Benefit and it's like a light peachy pink with gold in it it's really pretty well and then I'm just gonna go in with my Mac uh, eyebrow pencil in lingering it's like a it's like a taupey brown kind of You don't know me. Now you do. Kind of. I cannot live without highlight. It completes my makeup routine. If I don't have it on, I don't feel right. I don't I don't feel right. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sugar. My absolute favorite glow kit. There's four shades in it. Um, this launched in winter. And I think I got this uh, I got this around Christmas. It has marshmallow, gumdrop, butterscotch, and starburst. Butterscotch and starburst are my favorite too. This is marshmallow. It's like a light golden color, like very light. And then this is gumdrop. It's got a little bit of a pink hue to it. This is starburst. It's a pink pearly highlight. And then this is butterscotch golden highlight. I can't believe I've hit pit. Did you? Did I said just say pit? I can't believe I hit pan on butterscotch already. I actually usually mix these two together and I just love the butterscotch on me. Normally, like there's a lot of times where I do have a hard time wearing gold um, highlights because of my skin tone. But for some reason, this gold highlight really works for me, especially when I mix it with Starburst um, or Marshmallow, either, either or. But I'm just going to take this NYX Professional Makeup uh, Brush. It's a number six. And it's a very thick fan brush. Now you can use any brush you want for highlighting. You could use something like this. You could use a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush. You could use, you could even use the brush that I used for contouring. You could go in with a flatter brush. See this, this one's a little bit flatter. So if you wanted to like dab in a highlight, this is a Luxie 660 precision uh, foundation brush. Um, or really any other brush that you want. I like to use a very dense brush for highlighting because I like to pack it into my skin. I, I use a lot of highlight on my cheeks. If you don't want this much, do not use a brush like this because this will place it everywhere. Like the width of this brush is where that highlight's going. So that's why I said use a brush that you're comfortable with. That'll give you the amount of highlight that you like. I do gel my brows. But before that, I'm just going to spray and set my face with the Mario Badescu um, facial spray. It's a rose water spray with aloe and herbs. And I like this for setting my makeup and refreshing my skin throughout the day. 
Now this is not going to set it matte or anything. It actually gives you more of a dewy finish, but I just really like it. it smells good. It's refreshing. And immediately it's just like that dewy effect. Okay, so last thing I want to do is just gel my eyebrows. I like to do this just to keep them in place. I very lightly go through them. I actually wipe off the excess gel on the brush inside the container, whatever thing, because I don't want too much. I don't want them to feel plastered to my face. This is the best eyebrow gel I've ever used. I got it from Ulta. It's from the brand Essence. I think it's $2. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think I'll probably hop on with maybe a lip on, maybe not. I typically only use Aquaphor on my lips like right now. I just... I don't know. I love lipstick and I love wearing them, but sometimes I just like don't like the feeling of it. I just don't want anything on my lip. I don't know. Let me know if you're like that too. If sometimes you get like irritated with stuff on your lips. I don't know. But I'm going to go do my hair, finish getting ready, I'm going to get dressed, and then I'm going to hop back on here and just kind of have a quick little chat. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and seeing how I got this look. If you want to keep in touch or stay in tune to what's going on, definitely be sure to subscribe, like, and click the little bell notifications um, so that you never miss out. Also, social media will be linked below. I'm excited to be back. I hope you're excited that I'm back. If not, whatever. As always, if you have any questions for me or whatever it may be, comment below. But I will see you in my next video. Bye!